Hello, we're doing another video on uh, incorporating a one metric predictor variable and one binary predictor variable in a regression analysis. In this case, we want to focus on the possibility that the two groups that we're looking at are not parallel to each other, so we're going to be running a non-parallel regression analysis. In order to do that, I'm taking the Madison, Wisconsin uh, apartment rent data again, relating it to size and location, location converted into a binary variable called West. I need to make another variable called an interactive term or an interaction variable. I'm going to insert that right after West. So right click on the F uh, column, insert, and this new column, let's call it size times West. I'm going to merely multiply these two values together to get this new variable. Obviously, whenever west is 0, meaning south, then this will also be 0. And whenever west is not 0, when it's 1, then it'll be just this number, which uh, here it's only showing to no decimal places. But obviously, it matches exactly this now. OK, now this new variable is needed to account for the possibility that these two groups are going up at uh, different rates. So for each unit increase in square footage, in hundreds of square feet, is the rent going up at a different rate for south as compared to west. In the previous video, we did parallel lines. And here was the fitted lines plot for that. And it looks like an adequate summary of the data. Um, but maybe we were just not able to see it adequately. So we'll run a parallel lines regression in this video. And then in the last video, I'll show you how to make the uh, non-parallel lines regression output. Okay, so I go data, data analysis, regression. Rent is my response in hundreds of square feet. My input X range will be size, west, and this interaction term. Press OK after you have labels in the first row, and a new worksheet is where the output will be shown. Okay, let's get rid of all this confidence interval stuff. I just erase it. Let's format all this stuff to three decimal places. Let's stretch out column A to like a width of 12. And let's insert a new column at A, just so I have a little extra space on the margin here. And then I'll also abbreviate some of these uh, regression statistic labels so that they're not taking up so much space. Okay, now the important part, uh, well, we have several important things on this regression output. I'd like to see the equation that resulted, and so I take these coefficients and write out my own equation. So I'm going to say rent hat, my fitted rent, not the actual rent, is 2.577 plus 0.524 times size plus 0.385 times west and then minus 0.005 times size times west, the interaction term. Let's bold face that. OK. So now this one equation really represents two unparallel or non-parallel lines. Let's break it up into its two separate lines and see that it will have a different intercept and a different slope for each uh, location. So we'll go south. And west, Let's, I put in 0 for west, and that means south, so these last two terms will disappear. So I'll take this equation, copy it, and then just chop off the last two parts. There's my best fitting equation for south, and then I want to get the new equation for west. So I put in 1 for west. This is a shift in the intercept of 0.385, and I put in one for west here, and add like terms. This gets combined with this term. Shift this down by 0 0.005. OK, so I'll get the new intercept first by taking the old intercept plus the shift in the intercept. Here's the new slope, the old slope, plus the shift in the slope. And now I'll copy this equation and just change the numbers. Okay, 
let's erase these. Now here's my equation for west. Okay, so notice the slopes are very similar to each other. The difference in the slopes is only that small amount, and that is not statistically significant, not even close. So there's virtually no interaction going on between size and west. Uh, in other words, the groupings seem to have pretty much parallel uh, patterns. Uh, let's see what else we have here. R squared is 77.6%. Adjusted R squared uh, is a little bit lower than it was for the parallel lines case. And that is because we just added a bad term. This term is not good at all, so we don't really need it. So we would not like to use this uh, model to represent the data because it's overfit. We don't really need the interaction term. Um, otherwise, the overall regression is significant, and uh, we would prefer to go back to either the parallel lines case or maybe just one straight line to represent both groups, which I did not do that analysis, but that might be the best option here. So I'll do one more video, and I will show you how to graph the non-parallel lines, fitted lines plot.